So we finally finished our Temple of the Gales, and Ashura is at home. Everything going What's well? going on, bud? Hey there, a lot of people around here have been noticing how generous you are, myself included. I know it's not much, but I thought I'd drop by over a little gift to say thank you. You might not be able to tell by looking at me, but my Luna sign actually... Wait. My Luna sign... Actually, the Watcher, okay. They say the Watcher is cursed by greatness, so our Starstone's mysteries, uh, mysterious magical onyx. Okay. I'm not one for magic, but I do find onyx to be an oddly empowering color. I felt as a human, you might uh, be cursed with a little greatness yourself, so I got you this. What do you get me? Wait. He got me a... Oh! Onyx colored wall. Let's go. Oh, Reth's here too. What's up, Reth? Okay, can't talk to Wrath for some reason. Wait a minute. Wait, there we go. You don't mind people You've been giving me such a uh, so much stuff lately. I thought it was time to give you something that wasn't soup. Not that soup isn't great, but you know, uh, a variety is the spice of life. Hmm. Tish recently redid my room in this super cool orange color inspired by my Starstone Citrine. Citrine's associated with being fun and carefree, and uh, you who couldn't use more fun, right? It reminds me a little bit of carrot soup, though. Don't wanna make things weird, okay, so we're just getting all these different wall colors. Who's next? Somebody else is going to pop up. I can feel it. Baby Tish. Let's go. What's up, Tish? Oh, you look so cute today. I just want to stop by and say thank you for being such a generous friend. I haven't been the best at giving gifts lately. I know you didn't give me a gift just to get me something every, just just to get something in return, but I thought I'd reciprocate anyway. Here's a new wallpaper for your house. It's just plain white, but don't feel like that to fool you. White can be perfectly blank canvas for creativity. All right, we got all the, like, wallpapers, I think. Is there anybody else want to drop by? That's, that's it? Okay, cool. I guess that's our friendship rewards. Sarnuk meat. Thank you, Kitsu. All right, guys. We're waiting to see if this acorn will grow fully into a tree. We have roughly 20 in-game minutes here. This big boy right here would be an even bigger boy. And then I'll be able to talk to the gardener once more and turn it in. So I guess in the meantime, I will... Um, I actually didn't have anything planned for in the meantime. Let's fill up our water container really quick. Oh, did you guys see this too, by the way? A little silly. Lil Sill, how you doing? So I got this from the rummage pile if you guys haven't got that yet. I hope you get it very soon. All right, we have three minutes in game left. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Actually, no, let's get it back out because I have to water my plants. Is it full grown? Is it full grown? I actually can't tell. Still saying grow the acorn to maturity, so I guess I didn't do it yet. I'll know pretty soon if I can. I can still water it. Are you serious? What the heck? It looks look it looks pretty mature to me. Oh man. Okay, so maybe one more day. Maybe one more day. I thought it was gonna be it, but I guess not. That's what I get for thinking. All right, guys. I'll see you for another day. Actually, actually, you know what? In the meantime. Instead of ending it there, how about we go do some more friendship stuff? We'll go talk to our friends. I don't know if I can give them gifts again just yet. Let's see if it allows me to. No, it says daily gift already checked in here. So, can't give them another daily gift, but I can go talk to them really quick. Let's talk to Ashura, Reth, Tiff, and Zeki. Springtime is in full swing here. And I think before I... Uh, end my play my playing of today i want to uh, do a little bit of mining as well to continue our mining journey here in kilima
trying to advance as much as I can in these friendships slash relationships that I have. Let's go hit Ashura first. I think I have their... They're like level four and a half for me right now currently, so not too bad. Hope you guys are enjoying all the flowers and stuff that have been coming through as well. Oh, I should have probably read that. Something about monotonous, monotonous life. All right, let's go do Reth next. I'll read Reth's dialogue to you guys. See that look on your face? Up to no good, aren't you? Uh, so I had to swing by the library to grab this cookbook I put on hold, and I swear, I think Leary might be a statue. I've never seen her leave the front desk. Or is she super, super realistic-looking Galdor? The world may never know. I, will think about you more than so. Actually, where does, does Cleary sleep in the restricted section, I guess? I don't think I've really ever seen her go anywhere else either. Um, who else I have to talk to? Zeki. Zeki's sleeping. Let's go to Zeki's. And then we'll do Tiff last. Another day, another chance for freedom. I carry only top-notch goods. I told Alni not to mess with the duplifier, but he did it anyway. I guess that's why. I guess that's just how kids are, though. You tell them one thing, they do the other. Next time I should tell him the, the, the thing's a toy. Then he'll stare at it for a few seconds, get bored with it, never play with it ever again. That's that's actually not too far off. That was how I was as a kid. I never really had a lot of toys really growing up, to be honest with you guys. So when I did get them, I didn't know what to really do with them. So I would just look at them and be like, alright, well, I'm going outside now. Except for Legos. Legos were my jam, though. I loved building things with Legos and creating things and stuff like that. Like, yeah, but as far as like action figures and things, didn't really have an action figure phase. But I did uh, get into like cards and things when I was younger. So I still have a lot of my Pokemon cards from when I was growing up as well as uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards and things of that nature. But yeah, those are the things that I mostly got into. All right, what's up, baby Tish? Don't you just love the way the wind whistles through the valley? I'm so glad you came to this village. Who would have guessed my very best friend would be a member of a formerly extinct ancient race? Life's funny sometimes. Yeah, it is. Apple jam. Bring it to... Okay. Breath wants apple jam. Okay. Well, guys, I'll see you for the next talk session, I guess. Whoa, wait a minute. That's a new animation. What the heck? That was so cool. I've never seen him do that before. So, what's up, fellow Paleans? Um, it's your boy, Kovu. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So, um, for the next, like, ooh, I'm going to say probably 10 minutes or so, I forgot to turn my microphone on. So, this is currently voiceover Kovu right now talking to you guys. Um, your boy made a boo-boo. But I'll, I'll step you through what I'm kind of doing. Right now, I'm going to be gathering all the items I need to turn in uh, for my friendship levels and things like that. Again, I think this is turn in number three, I want to say, for this week. Um, and then we're going to venture back into the Temple of the Roots because there's a little bit more stuff for us to do with the uh, the gardener. So hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so just giving you, again, warning just one more time. For the next probably 10 minutes or so, there is no voice audio from Kovu. So it is a silent playthrough. Hope you enjoy. Thank you guys again.
talking to you makes the day... to get back to my thing. I like you more than soup. Let's catch up. You gave me some things to think of.